。できるだけ、手短にお願いしますよ。It's likely that no one's come here since the police's on site inspection last year. Tons of dust has accumulated on the floors. <laughs> Naturally, there are no corpses, but when I look closely, I see that what appears to be old bloodstains have been left behind, letting me know that tragedy really happened here. What's this? Once again, an image flashes before me. He begins operating in reaction to something. And that's Ishtar? Magdalene with blood pouring out of her chest and mouth. Equus lying on the ground and staining the floor with blood. Yumi holding down her left eye while suffering in extreme agony. Sami, whose face is pale and entirely motionless. <coughs> It feels like my stomach's tightening up. I'm assaulted with extreme nausea that makes me feel like I could throw up everything inside. I. I. killed them? No, that was something he did to protect Yumi. I still hadn't assimilated with he yet at that time. だが何人かは違う。そういうものだ。何人かはって。マグダレン、綾瀬美香は俺が来た時点ですでに鋭い刃物で命を絶たれていた。おそらく縁切り。つまり、いずも司が自ら手を下したものだ。エクエスこと
What's she doing now? テロリストは人類の未来に寄与する貴重な研究に打ち込んでいた優秀な研究者をまるでハエでも潰すかのようにあっさりと殺してしまいました私たちはこの暴力を決して許しませんとかなんとか連中はそんなキレ事を言ってたなそうでしたかムスキーズ・ローワード・フェイス・ゲッツ・パイラーでもパパは人類のことは考えていたかもしれないけど私たちのことは何も考えてくれなかったムスキーズ・ウォーズ・フィール・サルキー Are those not her real feelings? It's true that dad never showed us any plain love, but まあ俺も人のことは言えんよ仕事ばかりでコウスケ息子に何もしてやれなかったバカ親父だったコスケ、ミアタコスケ、ユミエンサミズカムラッド。His father was part of Cyberforce?It really seems to be true.He said it with a bitter smile, but ミアタさんの声は full of pain.When I see that, I feel certain that dad felt the same way about us. テロリストどもは関係者の家族まで虐殺してしまった。一連の事件で生き残っているのはこの俺と君たち。それに青い姫か君たちの母親だけだね母さんに会ったんですか The words that come out of my mouth feel like someone else's Although his voice and expression shows he's trying to play dumb Miyata-san looks at me with probing eyes まあそれが俺の仕事だからな Come to think of it, what happened to mom? Did I also end up not thinking about mom much like how Sakyo had disappeared from my memories? それでママ、いや、母は。Come to think of it, Dad's letter mentioned that her recovery was headed in a positive direction, but. <笑> Miyata-san averts his eyes. Then I understand. Since I lost Dad, I convinced myself I, it was the same with Mom. 失礼ながら、すべての現実を拒絶しておられるようだった。私のせいだ、私のせいだと上ごとのように繰り返すだけで。ムスキー lifts her face, her eyes full of tears. The reality that I've been rejecting up until now in my mind is re- resurrected. Mom reached the point where she kept entering and leaving the hospital, with Mutsuki's disappearance being the trigger. That's the reality. So, Hanna. Mutsuki's face warps in sadness. It seems she's un- able to understand what I'm thinking just by looking in my eyes. I can't hide anything from her, just like in the past. Despite that, I can almost never tell what Mutsuki's thinking. That's why I didn't notice it until she ra- ran away from home. It's the same even now. I can't stand it anymore, so I avert my eyes from Mutsuki and Miyata san. I spot an exit. That's the hallway Sakuya and Mr. Kawahara were running down. I see a hallucination of Sakuya running away, her rabbit like hair swaying as if inviting me. But in reality, all that's there is nothing more than an empty corridor. Just where did Sakuya go from there? それにしても、まったくめちゃくちゃな現場だったな。That detached voice brings me back to my senses. Perhaps because he's remembering that time, Miyata san scrunching his forehead, his deep anguish engraved on it. Exarch の研究者テロリストのコードそしてハッカー集団クリミナルがみんなここで折り重なるように死んでいたこの3つを結ぶ線それが事件を解く鍵だそして生存者はただの1名篠塚真由美は確か君のクラスメートだったかな教科学年もクラスも違います同じ学校ではあるけど「ユミス・デシジョン・ナット・カム・ウィス・ワス・ザ・ライト・ムーブ」Knowing Miyata san, he just asked her questions that would open old wounds. なるほど。ところで、この事件の問題点は、2名の行方不明者が今まで見つかっていないところにもある。ここの研究員だった川原徹と、その娘の咲夜だ。彼女の方は今度こそ、クラスメートで会ってるはずだね。え
Miyata-san casually asks this, but that's just a mask. His eyes have the same sharp glint in them as always, watching me carefully so he doesn't miss, miss the slightest reaction from me. Does he also doubt me? If he's asking that, then Miyata-san is surely, a surely saying this is also part of my job. I can't tell him I wasn't involved with this, because he, who, who I'm fused with, was directly involved with this incident. The instant I realize this, I feel unpleasant sweat rolling down my spine. They say there's a paper-thin difference between a god and a devil. Does he see through me? I feel like a frog being glared at by a snake. He narrows his eyes as, as if he were only sleeping and looks away. As if he'd lost interest in me. But... She tugs at my left arm. Contrary to her words, Mitsuki's complexion looks better than earlier. Probably because Miata's pursuit has left her feeling lost. I begin to leave the scene as if I'm being partially dragged along. I want to investigate more in depth. Perhaps we might be able to figure out where Sakia went. That said... Yare yare. Miyata-san says this while holding his head. As long as he's here, we can't do anything too suspicious. Even though, it, even though if it weren't for him, it would have been difficult to get in here. Contrary to his words, he glances at us like a falcon looking at its prey. As if he were saying, if you know anything, it'd be in your best interest to just spit it out right now. Mutsuki faces the empty house and says this. I don't really get it, but Mutsuki's satisfied. In the end, what meaning was there to what we did today? We found out nothing regarding Sakyo's trail. All we did is meet up with Miyata-san. Up until now, Mutsuki's been swaying inside Enigma's pod. She lived a life without any exercise at all. I'm sure her muscles are in a world of pain to, uh, uh, are in for a world of pain tomorrow. Mutsuki runs over to her stuffed rabbit, which was sitting on the bed, and hugs it tightly with all her might. With the same amount of happiness she did years ago. だと思って、キュッて抱き締めるんだ。ん? <笑> The one in front of me now is no longer that young girl. Sixteen is an emotional age. She's more or less an adult woman, having experienced more things than me. Whether it was finding someone she truly loved, to say nothing of eloping with them. Despite that, she asks the same question she did back then. I instinctively give that answer. Mutsuki's eyes widen as if she's surprised. Was my answer different from what she expected? But a smile soon rises to her face. While I remain stunned in shock, she closes the door. All while my sister's Cheshire Cat-esque smirk remains etched in my mind. 
I can hear my sister's faint voice on the other side of the door. Oyasumi, Mutsuki. That's all I can say. I know why Mutsuki was surprised. I myself am surprised by that answer. I'm different from how I used to be. Mutsuki's favorite animals were rabbits on the moon, hence why she named their, her stuffed rabbit Moon Bunny. But back then, I was a cold child. Mutsuki tilted her head. The ears of Moon Bunny, who she was holding, also swayed in unison with that motion. Aerified? Sounds like some sort of air purification system. Or maybe the name of some planet in a sci-fi book or something. うん。いたとして。それはもはやうさぎとは呼べない。え第二に、誰もそれを見た者がいない。うん。第三に、誰もそれを見た者がいない。うん。1969年、アポロ11号が月面着陸して以来、何度も月の探索が行われているけれど、これまでウサギがいるという報告は一切ない。ゼロなんだ。故に月にウサギはいない。お兄ちゃんこそ、そんなこと喋る小学生いないよ。うわ。Hearing those blunt words that came right out of Mitsuki's mouth made me self-conscious and a little sad. と、とにかく科学的にありえないんだよ。嘘。お兄ちゃんの嘘つき。Mitsuki puffed her, puffed her cheeks. じゃあ、ムツキはいるって思ってるのそうだよ。いるよ、もちろん。アホ。うん。うん。いないんだよ。月にウサギは。もう、なんで生きれるのなんでどうして?お兄ちゃんいないの見たことあるの? いないのを見たことがあるかっていうのはなかなか興味深い問いかけだな。いないものは見えないわけだし。何言ってるんだか。でもお兄ちゃんがその目で見たわけじゃないでしょ。おいおい、月面探査が信用できないのか？そういうわ
Mutsuki suddenly raised her face, her eyes hiding deep sorrow. I was surprised that she got that upset about rabbits on the moon. Just what did she know? I didn't get it. なんで月のうさぎさんを誰も見つけられないのか。うん。どうしてだ。大騒ぎされないように隠れてるんだよ。じゃなきゃ誰かが隠してあげてるの。ひっそり暮らせるように。は。ところでお兄ちゃん知